Hey guys, welcome back to The Accumulation Zone, the YouTube channel where you are going to learn everything about trading. In today's video, we are going to be testing Trade IQ's W Money and 7 Days Auto Top and Bottom Indicator and see if his results of a 61% win rate and a 200% gain on account holds true. I drew up a two examples here on TradingView. We are going to use the top and bottom indicator from this offer here and the volatil volatility oscillator by Verifit. Both indicators on the chart, top and bottom, here we go. We are looking for long positions if we getting a spike here on the volatility oscillator with basic settings, top and bottom indicator with basic settings as well. We are waiting for a buy signal here with a blue background and we are waiting for a spike of the volatility oscillator to confirm our buy signal. So we would have entered a long position right here at the close of the scanner here. We would have placed our stop loss at the most recent swing high and I chose this one to give it a little bit of breathing room here because those are all very small body candles and we see didn't hit our take profit of a risk reward of 1 to 1.5 and um, it hit our stop loss but right here we got a new sell signal as soon as it hit our stop loss and we we see a spike to the downside here on the volatility oscillator so we would enter in a short position with our stop loss at the most recent swing high around this level here so you would see um, it hit take profit 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio depending where you place your stop loss the most recent swing high swing low spread could take you out if you for example have a spread of a of 1.1 1 .1, uh, pips it would have most likely stopped you out here already even though it did never touch your stop loss but your spread would have now i would say i get down to some coding and try to code this strategy into code and see if we get some similar results as shown in this video all right guys i am finished with coding the indicator or the strategy so here we see the top and bottom indicator code the volatility oscillator code i am placing the stop loss based on the atr because i like it more if you download the script as well you will see that you can modify your stop loss based on the atr the average true range and it's more modifiable than the last most recent swing higher now it's still accurate so yeah and then down here we have the logic we are waiting for a top and bottom long condition a volatility oscillator spike determine if we have a valid setup check if we have confirmation then it's determining our position size here and triggering order alerts plotting the trade data here are a few more alert conditions. That's uh, the code for our dashboard. Let's actually have a look of how it's performing now. Turn it on. I want to see that now. So we see it would have entered a long position right where we had our long example earlier. And we also see it hit the stop loss right around our stop loss level. And it entered a new short position right here on this close candle and it took profit right here so overall we see on a one minute chart on the pair we also tested it on pound us dollar on a one minute chart we closed 214 trades with a win rate of 42.99 percent a profit factor of 1.07 um, and a max return of 15.44 percent with a max drawdown of 11.09%, which would be equivalent to 11 consecutive losses, because we're risking 1% with every trade instead of 2% like 
trade IQ is doing it in his video. But if you're thinking like if you want to pass a FTMO challenge or a MMF challenge, I would not recommend risking more than 1% per trade. Even 1% would be quite risky. You would have a you would need a strategy with a high win rate, not something like this. In my opinion, that's total BS. Let's have a look in the strategy tester. So we see the equity curve doesn't look very beautiful either. We experience more drawdown than we do profit. We can change the properties in here to a hundred grand account and we are risking hundred contracts on every order. Let's change that to 1,000, 100 fast contracts, 10,000. And we'd see we made barely any profit, 100,000. Yeah, we would have made 1% net profit with a 2% max drawdown, a 43% win rate. If we look at the list of trades, the first trade, it took down here on a on the 16th of May 2022 and we could also for example type in our commission here let's say we have a commission of 0.1% a slippage of one tick now actually no slippage we calculate based on every tick and yeah the commission we set it at 0.1% and you'd see the strategy not being profitable at all anymore. So yeah, in my opinion, it's not a profitable strategy at all. I would not recommend any guys of you using your strategy. You can still click onto the link in my uh, video box and play around with it yourself. So you, for example, could add a EMA filter to see if it's more profitable using a EMA filter. Let's have a look. Let's set it back to zero. We don't want to pay commission. And we see it's actually a little bit more profitable with less drawdown if we are using a 200 EMA filter. You can modify your risk to reward. If we, for example, set our risk reward to one to one, we see a smaller return, higher win rate and higher drawdown. We could also avoid certain trading sessions. For example, if you don't want to trade the New York session whatsoever, you would be alerted if you run this script every time it's telling you to sell or to take profit or to when it's hitting your stop loss so when to when you should exit your trade but i can not recommend trading with the strategy and i think it is really irresponsible of trade iq to upload a strategy and claim that this strategy is doubling your money in seven days because there are so many beginning traders here if you look through his comments beginner traders and they see results like this and they jump right in and start risking all their money because they're expecting this in seven days and if you see something like this and someone who's uploading a new strategy with similar claims every single day it can't be right just so let me show you guys a few different pairs with the strategy let's look at euro us dollar and we see terrible results let's look at also us dollar still all right but you wouldn't consider it a profitable strategy look at kiwi us dollar looking better but still we're not getting above a 50 percent win rate let's look at one of my favorite pairs also yen still same thing let's have a look at the us 100 oh it's actually performing not as bad as i thought it would on us 100 but still 45 percent win rate you could use it definitely adjust the settings of the script and you might find yourself with a profitable automated script for free us 
verse 30. Let's have a look on God, for the end. And we see it's not profitable at all on God. Have a look at Bitcoin. Uh, we see some profits, at least, on Bitcoin. If you have a strategy you want to see coded by me and tested that you can find on YouTube, just comment the video link of the strategy into the comments and I will have a look through all the comments and pick a random strategy I find and code it for the next video. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching the video till the end. I appreciate your guys support and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button if you like the content I'm producing.